Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. This is more like stupidity around Disney. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this because I think we did a video where we mentioned it in a video last year where people were upset about Ron DeSantis and the, the Disney that don't say gay and all that stuff, right? And they thought that Disney could just like pick up Disney World and move it someplace else. Mm -hmm. Like it was that easy. Like Disney World is the size of San Francisco. I think it's like 45 uh, square miles, 47, well, two square miles. With like what? Like 75, 80,000 people working there? 77,000. It yeah. has four theme parks, two water parks, countless resort hotels. There's a shopping center. They have other things there. Golf courses. There's a golf course. The ESPN Wide World Sports. Housing. The boardwalk. Um, um, there's all kinds of things yeah. there. <laughs> it, is, it is a city, right? It's a city. But uh, yeah, the uh, smooth brained persons on Twitter last year thought they could pick it up and move it. And now that is coming up again. Because uh, Keith, an article. in an article, uh, Keith Oberman said that this isn't difficult. He said, of course, he took the Twitter. Uh, this isn't difficult. Move all the irreplaceable items out of the current Disney World, rebuild in the Carolinas or Puerto Rico, then invite Ron DeSantis to Disney's Orlando facility and burn the place down while he watches. Now, this was, I believe, a joke because he was he was uh, uh, commenting on this article that people are mad because Ron DeSantis is promising that he's going to, to get Disney to stay in line or something. I don't know. Look. Um, I don't know if it's a joke. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I mean, that's like his platform the is like taking it as a joke. And the thing is, I did an article about why this is not going to happen. It, it is literally impossible. Disney will not move out of Florida. And I want to remind people that, uh, you know, for all this talk, you know, everybody's like, oh, Disney's going to Disney's going to fight, fight, fight. Um, they actually didn't put up much of a fight, which surprised me. No, because they're not losing much. They're not losing much. I mean, they're they losing really some lose things. Much. They're losing some things, but they got to keep their special uh, district. And, you know, from their point of view, they might have to pay more in tax assessments and they don't get their, you know, they don't get their own private government anymore. However, that, that frees them from a lot of responsibility. It also means that the state's going to finance their fire department and, you know, a lot of the roads and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, so I mean, Disney actually made it out. I think I, I'll be honest. My personal opinion on this is Disney was actually relieved in some ways, and I think because you know they're they're scrambling for money right now. Last thing they want to have to do is go buy a bunch of fire trucks and, right. and all that. I think they're actually low key relieved, but they have to give the appearance of oh yeah, guys. Oh my God, that meanie Ron DeSantis. Oh no. Oh, he took our Reedy Creek away. Oh no. Oh well, we tried. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't um, don't do that. Yeah, they still got to keep their district, and they do lose a lot, but they also are freed from a lot too. Um, but it's funny to me. People are like, "Oh, they could just up and move this," and they're not. They're they're not considering a lot of things. Um, and they're all mad about Disney because they're like, oh, Ron DeSantis is gonna is gonna tell Disney what they can and can't produce in their content. No, he's not. Um, the market, the market will determine what Disney produces and what they don't produce. I mean, this whole thing was like it's such a ridiculous. I mean, look, uh, and and again, and people get mad. We're like on both sides. It's like, yeah, I think on both sides, it actually is a ridiculous situation. I think we had people that were, uh, you know, pushing agendas uh, above and beyond, you know, Disney's scope, which is you're an entertainment company, just entertain. Mm -hmm. It's not your job to get involved in local politics. It is really not. You know, it's no other entertainment company. Well, they've said before, they're like, oh, we're not going to film in Georgia anymore because of, and here they are. There's the Georgia peach at the end of so many of their movies. It's like, right. yeah, you're still, you're still doing it. They get, they get, it's about money. Right. Um, at the end of the day, it's about money. And then I, you know, I don't agree with DeSantis picking all, you know, people that align with him for this. And I, I get people like, well, it makes sense. All other politicians do it. Yeah. I, I didn't say I didn't understand why he did it. I just, I don't think it was, it was really, you know, the way to go. This, in this situation, he put so. he put a uh, an op ed piece out there. And I forget what what publication it was on, but he basically was like, "We need to push back." This is a guy who is running for president in twenty twenty four, right? And he's basically using the situation to boost his profile. Well, people were mad at me because I said, and I stand by this: if Disney hadn't said what they said about you know stepping into the government and stuff, 
they would still get to have their special interest district. They shouldn't have had it. It should have been canceled for a long time now. It was giving them too much power they shouldn't have had. The complaints from the firefighters have been going on for years. Yeah. Everything else, no one did a damn thing. But as soon as Disney overstepped and it became a pissing match between DeSantis and Disney, suddenly things that should have been undone way before DeSantis, honestly, were suddenly undone. And everybody's acting like, you know, oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, but the, th the point is, it should have been, this should have been handled years ago. And if Disney hadn't done it, they would have done nothing and just let them keep paying everybody off and looking the other way. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about this real quick. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 296,000 subs, almost 300,000. Yeah. Yay. Um, check out piratesandprincesses.net for ob objective Disney news. Check out the podcast on piratesandprincesses.net. What blows my mind is a lot of the people who are angry that Disney had Reedy Creek taken from them. Like you're talking about this mega corporation that's been abusing the system for years, mm -hmm. right? And you would think that the people that are, you know, for, for like minorities, the little guy. and Right. Like Disney's been abusing. corporation. They've been skipping out on taxes. They've been using it as a, a tax shelter. They've been taking, uh, uh, you know, government money and giving it to their advertising budgets. Um, they had the ability to build a freaking nuclear power reactor. And That's an how airport. much. An airport. This is a corporation. If it were any other corporation. Everybody be screaming bloody murder like, my God, no corporation should have that much power. But because it's Disney and they agree with your politics this month, or they give the, I'm, I'm sorry, they give the public appearance of agreeing with you this month. In reality, all they care about is whatever's Money. good for them, right? Ask anybody who works for them. Um, you know, so now it's like, oh, yeah, I'll let the corporation do it. I'm like, that is the opposite of what I thought the Democrats were about, like let the corporations just run rampant, you know? But um, th on the flip side of it, though, DeSantis is using this just to, to boost his chances for, for getting elected. In right. And that's what that's what that's what my issue is. Um, my issue is that, you know, it has, it, it, it's just nothing was done years. This has been there's been issues. They've been you know protesting their tax assessments for years, going to court, suing all this crap. They've gotten they've been giving out twenty eight plus million in donations, political donations just in Florida. To both sides. Of right. The aisle, which I have, which I was like funny. People are like, people are like, did you know to me? And I'm what? like, I, I told you guys this years ago. Yes. Years ago. Yes. Okay. This was I told you this a long time ago. Uh they they've been doing this for years. And my my issue is what makes me angry is the fact that they everybody looked the other way. Yep. Let it happen. Yep. And I'm not talking about just the current people. Nope. This has been an ongoing thing for decades. I'm not oh, blaming yeah. it all on DeSantis. I'm saying that for years, Florida has just kind of turned the cheek on this one and let, let them do it until they decide to overstep into politics. And then, then we're going to, you know, we, it comes a pissing match. And I, and I, I have a problem with that. I think that, you know, if they, they hadn't said anything, they'd still be left alone. And that's, that's the issue. But um, anyway, I had broke down, if you go to the, I had broke down the reasons why Disney cannot just move Walt Disney World out of Florida. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about that. And then we'll go back and look at some of the, I'd like to look at some of the older tweets we had and pulled up, just how ridiculous like how people it's think it's. Yeah. So he made this comment, whether it's a joke or not, I think matter. It's a joke. People I think are taking joke. it seriously. Yes. And okay. Other comments followed. Um, oh, my husband said Disney should just leave. The state will fall apart. The amount of business that they bring in besides there, Disney World and Epcot Center are the outside hotels and eateries. It, what? This doesn't even make sense. State will collapse? Outside of that, Disney World and Epcot Center. What? Well, yeah, they're clearly a longtime Disney person. And then, well, Disney World, Disney World, unless Florida changes their way, should seriously consider moving to around Savannah, Georgia. And other theme parks should start threatening to the same because that's where Florida's revenue really comes from. People can't be this stupid. Are they, they really they, they legitimately can be this stupid. So here are some things I want to point out. Some obvious things and some not so obvious things. One, Disney World is huge, as we mentioned. Okay, it's 43 square miles. You cannot move Disney World. It's not like a, a little, it's not like a little carnival. It's not like a tiny theme park. You could fit, I think it's like 10 Disneylands or 100. I forget. It was like a lot of Disneylands into Disney World. It right. is huge, okay? Yes. You couldn't just move it. And no. the, the expense would be we we'll probably bankrupt the company, frankly. Um, two, just because the state is red or blue now doesn't mean it'll remain that way forever. That is true. So if you move to an acceptable state, doesn't mean that – be acceptable being blue, according to these people. Um, that doesn't mean the state's going to still be blue. 
in like, you know, eight years. That is also true. Um, you know, I mean, here's the thing. Like Pennsylvania is a really, that's where we're at. Uh, Pennsylvania is a really weird situation because I would say the majority of the state is actually red, like in the middle. But because of uh, the cities all being blue, we tend to go blue during presidential elections, mm-hmm. right? Um, but the state itself has actually flipped red a couple of times. You know, it just depends on, you know, the situation. So. Right. Florida, like California, has a climate that allows the park to be open 365 days a year. Now, they're saying North Carolina. North Carolina still has seasons that, that are not, you know, necessarily conducive to being open 365 days a year. They were talking about building another I Disney. I mentioned that. Okay. And it didn't work. The reason they didn't do it was because of the weather. Yeah. Well, Disney, they were going to build one in D.C. Yes. Yep. And, I, and I put a link to that because I, I brought that up. Um, and then there's 77,000 people that work there. So what are they going to do? You're going to put 77,000 people out of work because you're mad about DeSantis fighting Disney? Yes. Okay. Because that's what it boils down to. Yes. It all boils down to is I'm mad about DeSantis. So, you know, they need to move. Okay. The verb is cutting the bullshit. That's what it is. Now, this is a company that you're whitening for. Disney, Disney, Disney could just go give jobs to other people. Well, you're going to put 77,000 people out of jobs. But that doesn't – you're forgetting the whole part about where Disney is not paying their cast members a living wage to begin with. Yeah. So they move to where you want them to move by your state, okay, by you. Well, that's great, but they're not going to pay those people a livable wage either. As They've been fighting with the, with the union, and they're stalling out, and they refuse – actually, each time they come back to the table, they've been allegedly giving them less. So let me let me let me put this in perspective. So this is like Disney are supposed to be the good guys, right? Mm-hmm. So Disney's been fighting with the union to not pay their mm-hmm. people enough to live on. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Universal just freely gave gave people raises. Right. right. Um, Disney has taken advantage of their special privileges and they've shirked on paying taxes. They 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 not they they not they pay the taxes, but then they turned around and and fought them in court. To get the the tax assessment, even the method changed, so they right. could pay less. So they're not paying their fair share in taxes, right? Which that that tax money would go to you know. Which I mentioned later on. Plus the fact that you know Disney, and it's not just Disney in this case, the Universal and them too. They lobby uh, all the time to make sure that where other states, well, the hotel tax goes to do, to pay for things in the state, they somehow don't have to pay some of that stuff. Also, they the money that I mentioned later on, it goes to like things like roads and police and and you know different programs they do pay theirs but they don't pay what they should pay so they're actually taking from the people who need it um so they can keep more money in their pockets and the reason that some of the expenses are so high in orlando is to pay for the tourism yeah that disney gets the benefit from so yes but they're they're the good guys right right okay okay i'm, okay. Just, I'm just checking i'm disney trying to keep isn't okay. fighting the changes because they will still receive benefits from the new district i mentioned this earlier most of the other districts were completely dissolved disney gets to keep theirs they don't get to build a nuclear power plant but they still get to keep the infrastructure help now now infrastructure if it's run by the state then they're not got to pay for it mm-hmm. um they're going to get you know emergency service improvements so they don't have to worry paying for the new fire engines and all the fixing that, that we mentioned in other videos i am 100 percent convinced that disney didn't put up much of a fight they wanted to give the they didn't appear- put up any fight <laughs> They didn't put up any fight. They immediately were like, they had their guy out there being like, oh, we can't wait to work with the, you know, Florida. No, they didn't put up a fight because they knew they were going to get off the hook. They wouldn't have to pay right. for this stuff. They, they're you know, gonna, oh, it's oh not we tried, worth, guys. It's not worth the, yeah. the, the, the push and, and what they might lose. They might lose more if they fought back. Disney has other contracts in Florida beyond stuff that, you know, in the parks. And they have contracts with different vendors that could be like, you know, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. They can't just up and run or they have to pay all those Mm -hmm. and, you know, and whatever cancellation fees and stuff too. So it's not just moving the park because you feel like it. There's a lot more to do with that. Um, They have, I said that Florida has easy access to guests from around the world and their Disney Cruise Lines also, the, the hub for that's in Florida. Yeah. So there's the whole other part of Disney that we aren't even talking about. Um, Let's just far. move to a landlocked state and run the cruise line out of that. Yeah, that right? Totally makes sense. Um, yeah. Okay, here's another thing people aren't talking about. They're like, well, let's move to Savannah. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> let's say Disney could just pick up and move all this stuff to another state, another city. What happens is when Disney wants to bring it to that area, the, sti- the, the city is going to have to pay millions in, in infrastructure improvements and all kinds of, you know, other things they have to, they'd have to get up to, to be able to support 
A place like Walt Disney World. Because remember, it built up slowly in Orlando. Yeah, it was actually basically Orlando, Central Florida was built up around Disney World. Right. You know? So you're talking about, let's move it to, let's move it to Savannah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sure the taxpayers are going to love the huge increases in their taxes be, to pay for infrastructure and support and fire and police and everything else so that Disney can move it there uh, because you want it to be moved out of Florida because you're mad about Ron DeSantis. So, yeah, and I guarantee you Disney's not going to move it if, if they have to pay for the move and all the infrastructure improvements. So it puts a lot of stress on another another location because you decide you're going to put a thing there. It, it doesn't just happen because you, they decide. You have to consider things like roads, like uh, how you're going to power it, you know? Yeah. How are you going to, what are you going to do for sewage and all that? What, you can't just snap your fingers and have them move to another city. And plus, you have to have enough land. In a location that that would be easy to access to an airport and everything else. I mean, it's not just as easy as that. And then how you have to get the land would be you have to take it from somebody else who probably already owns the land. And you'd have to be putting people out of their homes. I'm going to domain the shit. And then, then you, so now you've, you've cost a bunch of taxpayers money. Some of them lost their houses. I, you're ask, you're asking these people to think like 10 steps ahead. Yeah, this is, is – I mean, what would happen – worst case scenario, what would happen is – if. Disney would basically have to shut Disney World down completely and build a completely new theme park someplace else well, for the, the most part. One person, we'll get to this other person's Brad Day here in a minute. Okay. Then another one, they're like, because they're mad about, they're thinking Ron DeSantis is going to try to control how much diversity Disney puts in their shows. That, that He doesn't have that power. No. Again, the market has that power. He doesn't have that power. I don't care what he says. He doesn't have the power to do that. Most of that's run out of California anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. The, theme, know, the theme parks really, I mean, yeah, they're... They're a huge source of revenue for Disney, but they don't dictate what goes on in Burbank for the most part. Burbank's kind of its own thing. You know, they work with for That's the thing, too. Like, people don't understand when we were doing media for Disney, like, even Disney World and Disneyland have their own ways of doing things. Oh, yeah. It's not the same. It's not the same across the board. It's not like Six Flags or whatever where it's, you know, probably more uniform across the country. It's like Disneyland and Disney World are very, very different in how they operate and, uh, you know, all of that. And so, yeah, uh, Disney, Disney World in Florida is basically its own thing. And they're, they're running the business in Florida. Well, and then they're talking about how, you know, oh, well, because they're going to, we're going to, they're going to move diversity. I want to point out again that Disney uh, says something out of one side of their mouth and then, but then makes sure that it's done in such a way that it can be removed from films yes. and TV shows so that it can, it can be run yes. in places yeah. like China, Russia, uh, the Middle East, things yeah. like that, because they aren't going to allow that to be the case. So they talk out of both sides of their mouth. So this other person, which the tweet didn't copyright, I have to fix it in the article. They're like, well, shut, Disney should just shut down for a month. And that'll, that'll show, that'll show Florida because they rely on it for taxes. They don't get much taxes from Disney. They make sure of it. Um, and they rely on it for so much. Yes. Let's shut it down, um, for a month. So you shut down the theme park in Florida for a month. What happens to all people who rely on that for their jobs? Because I guarantee you Disney's not going to pay people. They're going to shut down the theme park, lose all the money they lose. And pay cast members to stay, you know, to stay hired by them to come back when they decide to open in a month just to make you people happy and show Ron DeSantis. Remember the pandemic? Remember how the cast members had to start their own food pantry because Disney didn't take care of them and there were lines and lines and miles long lines. Miles long. And the economy kind of collapsed around Disney World because those cast members uh, spend money at grocery stores and they buy stuff elsewhere. And basically the entire economy of Central Florida depends on tourism and it just was gone and it was horrible and desolate. And yeah, you want to do that? That's cool. Right. And then Let's Disney, do that again. Disney's going to be so quick to do that when the theme parks are like they're what's key, like one of the things that are keeping them, you know, making money. And Walt Disney World is one of the ones that they really put a lot of effort into and they don't give a discounts to and stuff because that's the one that people pay more because they have more guests. It brings in the lion's share of the money from the theme park division. Let's shut it down for a month. Oh I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, it's not going to happen. People are dumb. I mean, look, we had tweets before uh, last year, actually. You know, just leave Florida, everybody. Leave. Y'all need to move it. Like, all these people on Twitter. Like, God, you're stupid. You're so stupid. Like, this isn't even possible. It's not even possible. Um, that being said, this, this whole thing really didn't change much, did it? 
According to uh, the Financial Times, it said the legislation didn't really end Disney's special advantages very much. Uh, this guy wrote, but I, like I said, yeah, he wrote, uh, he wrote, uh, married to the mouse, Walt Disney World in Orlando. But the composition of the board poses a threat to Disney's business interests. Yeah, because again, they're they're not even a lot of them tourism people. They're basically DeSantis's. Yeah, picks. and that's what I have a problem with. I think that should be people that would. Um, I think one, you know, one of them I can see because they've been on these kind of boards before. Um, but some of the choices, I'm like, you know, is, is this going to stalemate everything? Yeah, I mean, this is just look. This is all this is all a pissing match, and and honestly, it it should not have escalated to this point. It would not have escalated to this point. If, Unfortunately, the guests and the people that live in Florida are the ones that get rained on. Yeah, pretty much. Um, they're going to get the golden shower, you know, and. Uh, but uh, again, you know, Bob Chapek handled it very, very badly. He did. Dude should very have stayed badly. out of it. He should have taken the advice DeSantis gave him. He should have taken the advice that uh, other people at the company gave him. Stay out of it. So yeah, this it shouldn't have it shouldn't have gotten to this point. Reedy Creek, honestly, I think should have been. My personal opinion is it should have been abolished years ago. It should, should have been. And, and again, I'm not blaming DeSantis for this. I think it should have been done well before he came into office. Uh, years before him. The problem is, though, it wouldn't have if, – if Chapek hadn't done what he did, they'd still get to keep all of these benefits that weren't fair. Yeah. And they'd get to keep all this power and, you know, all the stuff that they were doing and they weren't accountable for a lot of things. They would have got to keep all of that if, um, you know, because no one had done it before. But Chapek opened his mouth. And that's what I'm at. Like, you know, I, I just think it's 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 shocking that the people that were against this. I mean, I understand why, because they're they're mad about, you know, who he appointed to the board. But I'm like, this corporation had like unlimited power. Uh -huh. Like they were allowed to do whatever the hell the they wanted. Currently like yeah. garbage. Yeah. And then, you know what? And they're like, they're like not paying their people fairly. And then they, they, they kind of tossed them overboard when the company had, you know, faced financial trouble. Why well, they, the people up high still got to keep their jobs, you know? No. And I'm like, they're, they, they've done a lot of things that are questionable and everybody's it's like, they're like now defend Disney. Yeah. God, it just, it, yeah, it's, it's so ridiculous. Cause it is literally the Disney antithesis. It's a hell of a drug. It is a hell of a drug. So we're going to wrap this up. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, look, it's what's going to happen is this is going to go down the memory hole. A lot of people are going to make, I believe it's, a lot of people are going to make a big deal out of it for uh, political points on, on both sides of the aisle for headlines. And then everybody's going to quickly forget about it because I don't think at the end of the day, it's really going to change much. It isn't Florida. really changing much. That's, no. that's the thing. And Disney, it's changing much in the fact that Disney's going to have to pay. Yeah. Their taxes. They aren't going to be able to just, just to fight the assessments every time they turn around in, in court so that they can get out of paying what they should pay for, you know, taxes. Actually, what might change is if you have a heart attack on Disney property, you might actually get an ambulance in a decent amount of time. Uh, you know, so there's that. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.